crack was cracking. I'm out here in the UK and the Strata Count Tour, man. Much love. And you know you rocking with man. It's a little easy easy and me about that online. So we finna get it cracking, man. I don't know why, because I don't think it was no bad blood. That's why I'm confused between Master P and ESK, because ESK the type of brother that you don't get along with. He's just a business-minded person that straight the business on both levels. Right. Um, the, the bad level or the good level, he always with that guy. Never had no problems out of it. And I couldn't see why uh, P wouldn't mention him, because it was no bad beef that I can ever see. I see they, they put a, a picture of EA Ski in the documentary, but they didn't oh, they say nothing did. about him. They, 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 they didn't, but they had to put that up, EA Ski, and show the picture and went on to the next. Wow. And I, I, can't, I, I can't elaborate on that because I don't see any bad blood, and I haven't heard anything in the street where oh, EA Ski did. I've never heard nothing bad about Mr. EA Ski. That's why... I really can't elaborate on what well, I don't know what he did because I'll be talking shit there. Right, right, right. If I come up, man, the reason why he did it, yeah, I don't know that. And I'm not going to go that route because I keep my record clean. You can put me under a microscope, my record clean. I'm going to tell you everything about me. Right, 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 right. Well, uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, e Ski, I'm sure he's going to talk at some point, but I did notice that he was in there. But they didn't yeah, have. They didn't say nothing about him. They just showed him. Yeah, that that that's the that's the heart wrenching part because I feel I believe on the beginning he should have been in episode one. But at the same time, I don't know how the contact information went with EHT, uh, uh and him. I didn't really get into it. You know, right. to find to investigate what was going on. So I can't really start elaborating on that because I'm gonna be talking out my head. All right, well, well, go ahead, move on. So EA Ski did uh, production? Yeah, EA Ski contributed to the music when I was locked up, the Mama's Bad Boy, and the Understanding Criminal Mind, plus he was putting out music with CMT. So they did that, but when I got out, uh, EA Ski started branching off. He always was on his own. EA Ski was always an independent. That's the only thing about EA Ski. He was always an independent. He just collaborated with Master P. Got you. You know, so that went that way. And P never said nothing bad about uh, EA Ski. When I first got out, it was nothing but good, man. When I just met my boy EA Ski, he a black belt, this, that. Never uttered one word. Not not even trying to uh, uh, stand in front of P, you know? Right, right. I'm just giving you the real about uh, uh, another man. Right. Yeah, so uh, now the West Coast bad boys uh Downside hustlers circulating, we getting hot, right? We're getting a check. Uh, EA Ski said, I just did a deal with Party Records. Brian Turner, right? Right. He called P, said, Y'all can go up there. I got it all set up. We walked to, we got the, we got the, uh, we uh, uh, caught a plane to LA, me, C Murder, Silk, uh, Master P. We all walked in the office. Back then, you can walk in the office of the record companies and just go straight up to the door. Now you need like a scanner because Ice Cube and them uh, shut that down because they went in them offices one time and broke all the people's shit up. Right. Yeah. And they just start putting, don't let nobody up. These niggas crazy like that, right? Yeah. So uh, we, we walk right in, and as we go in, there, we see A Ski coming off the elevator. A Ski, what's going on? And EA Ski threw up the deuces, right? Saying it was all good. So we go up there and sit down. And I'm right there, Brian Turner. He said, this is my, man. This is my right-hand man, King George. Brian Turner shook my hand, and we get to know him. And they liked us so much, Brian Turner wanted to take me and Master Peter to uh, Mexico on the weekend just to get to know us, right? Right. And I, I was, uh, at the time, with my son, Mom, I, I hung out with her for that weekend. And him and Brian Turner went out there, and they told they got to know each other. They said, we like Pete. And they focused on the distribution deal. And I was like, uh, oh, Pete, are we getting a check? You know, from uh, Brian Turner, right? Mm -hmm. He said, they said, don't worry about that, man. Uh, we ain't going to trip off no check right now. I'm like, what? We ain't not getting nothing? Like that, right? But I didn't know what kind of deal he was doing. He was doing a deal where you get no money up front. 
Yeah, they might give him like twenty, thirty thousand to do a promotion. He might say, "Here, King, pay that." And I'm looking, at, okay. And right. so we move on from there. So we got the deal with Priority. Now we're recording the True album, the TRU, the True. Right. I'm banging it out on three strikes on True. Right. I'm hitting it hard with my lockup shit, telling them what it's like having three strikes. Right. And we got the True song that Mob It Through the Hood. We're going to do a video to this one, right? Uh-huh. We're going to bring C Murder. We're going to show. We're all going to wear khakis and white shirts. Cali G, Big Ed, all of us going to be in here. We're taking photos now for the True album. We're in the parks in Oakland taking pictures. We're out everywhere taking pictures. We're all at the marina shooting our, uh, footage. So the, the day before that, the, uh, the Mobbing Through the Hood video, he came to me that night, right? The, the two days before that, right? Right. He said, King, you and I get ready to get cars. We're not going to use no fake check. We're going to pay, pay cash for these. Get... I said, okay. He said, what kind of car you want, King? I said, you know what kind I want. I want the white Cadillac, right? Right. He said, okay. You got the white Caddy. I'm going to get the Benz just for the family. So that's when he got the big body four door 500, 500 Benz. Right. What you see on the Mobbing Through the Hood video. Yeah. That's when we got our cars. So we put those in the video, shot the video. I'm kicking it off, right? He said, King, you're going to kick it off. Uh, he said, "He said, King, you got to bring the noise when you kick it off. I took a uh, a little segment from Easy e right? Uh-huh. Rolling through Richmond in my six fold. Clocking the cash, clocking the dough, rolling through the streets to get the scoop. Call Master P to get the scoop. You feel me? Right, right, right. That's how I kick off. You know, watch how I mash on this white chunk. You know, I'm flowing on that on the uh, first part of the video. Anyway, we get that done and uh, Priority loving it, right? Because NWA had just fucked fell off for Priority. They needed a new group. And we fell right in place with it. They're getting the video everywhere, right? right? And at the same time, we had this guy, Tobin Costin. He was in Spokane, Washington. We, we we went out to Spokane and got him. And uh, he was like a DJ. Uh-huh. And he said, this guy got that manager look, right? I think I'm going to take him with us and make him my manager, even though he's just going to be like a, a, a stud, right? Right. So now we got this guy, Tobin, with us. We got the true album out there. We hitting all these different cities promoting. They loving it. But we ain't really got no money yet because we ain't taking no money from priority. We don't want nothing, right? right? Don't give us nothing. We don't give us our money when we sell some records. So priority never seen no shit like this. Give us your money when you, y'all don't want no upfront. We don't want nothing. So now the guy told me he working side by side with P. He rolling with P. Uh, doing this thing they over here well, we're not knowing this this guy that's talking he, he's talking too much because we don't let everybody know our business right right and I think the guy would told somebody something Pete found out I said that nigga told you that and it just killed the whole thing with him and Pete and Pete came to me one night he said King I want you to do me a favor I want you to uh, knock Tobin out and Tobin was like a square to me right right I said, not Tobin. I'm not getting no stripes off this. I can't really. Now, I got to be motivated to knock you out, right? Right. <laughs> I'm not just going to walk up. Yeah, I'm not no guy that just walk up to you. You done started some shit. And I'm going I'm to take you to the ground, right? So, he was like, I'm um, calling him over here. The guy never knew what was about to happen, right? right? I'm calling him over to this warehouse. It was a warehouse where this guy, graphics, called Funky Fat. They was doing the graphics. And we lowered him over to the warehouse about 10 o'clock at night. Tobin was like, why you getting me out the bed this time of night? P, I got to be at this office. Then she just come on on. I got something for you, right? Right. So now we, we hiding behind cars. And they got these rollaway gates that you like. You, you roll with the chain and go all around. And we rolling it. The guy rolling it up. I think Big Ed was rolling the gate up. And Tobin drive his car and not his car and we lock him back in right right and Pete looked at me and he dropped his head when he dropped his head I was supposed to just drop him right right and I said no and Pete was like what he, you know he didn't say what he was like I was like you not, I gave you an order right I said no 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 
that pissed him off. And Pete said, okay. So, Big Ed told P anyway, told me that uh, he ain't planning on getting a, another record deal, right? He lied on me. He told P I was going to get a record deal because Big Ed thought we was going to leave him because Big Ed was like a, a weak link to us, right? Right. He wanted to play basketball, really, but he saw this two shit jumping off. Now he want to get in and go tell him, tell the P some damn lie but I want to go get a record deal. And P kind of ran with it, right? Right. He said, Tobin and King trying to get a record deal. And P was like, what? So I noticed they went to Minnesota somewhere. And I called P. I said, P, where y'all at? He said, we in Minnesota. I said, you're Minnesota. I'm sitting here in Cali, right? Well, I'm not Minnesota. We left, man. What you and Tobin doing? They was playing games with me, right? I didn't catch on to the shit. Until he kept doing it, right? right? I said, why aren't they doing this shit? Fuck it, I'll stay home then. So then they come tell me, man, why you told me trying to get a record deal. Now, I'm so pissed off, I'm not even saying nothing. I'm not saying I got a record deal or no record deal, right? right. I'm so pissed off because you my boy. Why are you going to think I'm going to get a record deal if at least come talk to me? Don't play games with me, right? We done been through hell and high water. Right. Don't fucking play games with me because this shit getting hot now. So they went on and left me, right? Yeah. Now I'm sitting at home with my girl and my newborn baby, right? Got no money because I'm not moving around like I was. And I was connected to this shit, right? Right. I'm like, damn. And Pete not cut me a quarter off because he left, right? Now he calling me. King, man, y'all shouldn't have did that. And I'm not about to say, man, I'm not doing it like some bitch or something, right? Right. I'm like, okay, yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I'm like, I'm, I'm agreeing with it, right? Right. I said, okay, because there's some bitch shit, right? I don't even know why I'm fucking listening. So P kept on calling. I said, you know what, P? I'm going to tell you something, man. I got love for you, but guess what? Don't call me no more, man, please. Because it's turning into bitch shit, man, and I'm not a bitch. I did two years in that place, and I wasn't a bitch, and I'm not going to come out of here and be a bitch. He said, I said, just take me off everything. I don't even want to be a part of it because it's whole shit now. He said, you really you want to be out of it? He agreed with me. I said, yeah, I'm out of it. He said, okay. So he started taking me off the covers. And he ran with it like that. But I said, no, I'm going to still do my business. And I end up working with Tobin because he had the he was the only one that had funds to help me out with the project. So I end up working with him anyway. And, and it made it look like that anyway. Right. So the story is told, and that was the truth. Never tried to get a record deal. Never crossed people behind his back. Did time and didn't snitch on him. Only above. And they start playing these games with me, and I backed up. And that was that. I didn't want to go work with the guy I told me, you know, but that's who I was stuck with because I had to put my music out too. And this was the only guy that, that had the funds willing to work with me. Wow. Man. Yeah, that deep. Yeah. That's an unfortunate situation because when you see dudes that been with P like Boz and you know, all these dudes like Oh, can I can I can I bring can I can I uh insert on that part right there? Yeah, definitely. Boz was my boy. I brought Boz in. We we was going we Boz had just got out of jail. That was one of my my, my closest friends too. We we was uh we, we we caught a plane down from Cali and we went to New Orleans to promote the album, right? right. And we went to we all he always played basketball. He always had us playing basketball, right? Right. So now we in this gym and I see Bob, Bob. I ain't seen him in a while because he went to the pen for some shit, some shit, right? Right. Hey, what's up? And Bob's happy to see me. We hold, we, we, we hugging each other. And Pete pulled me to the side. He said, man, watch that nigga. I said, watching this my boy right here, right? This is what Pete told me. Watch this nigga, right? right. I don't know if it was out of jealousy or what, because me and this nigga were close, right? I'm over there with this nigga. Pete like, oh, okay. You know, so uh, he said, watch this nigga. That's why when I see Bob, I trip. I'm like, whoa, he got one in. Yeah, so I, I brought him in. You know what I'm saying? And, but we was all childhood friends, but Bob was my boy from the Cali, yo, out of, out of, uh, out of Galvis Coatway. 
Wow. Yeah, I brought him in. That was my boy. And the reason why Bonds, I'm going to tell you the secret why me and P and Bonds clicked so hard, because Bonds remind P of Kevin Miller, his brother. He looked like him. Gotcha. That was like a reincarnation of uh, Kevin Miller. Because if you look at uh, Kevin Miller and Bonds, they're light skinned. And they look, they almost look alike. And that was like a thing. P felt like a bond with him for Kevin. Copy that. I got that. Yeah, if you see it, see with me saying it, then you can see it for yourself. Okay, okay, right. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You know, because he loved Kevin that much, man. If he could have resurrect Kevin, he would have did it with all the money in the world. Yeah, rest in peace, Kevin Miller. Yeah. Yeah, but um, all right, so now, when you say, yo, all right, yo, I'm done, take me off of everything, this, that, and the third, is that when P uh, moved on and started? That, that's when that, that's when they had to leave because I'm out in Cali, right? Didn't know I got like a short fuse, right? Yeah. You're not gonna live in Cali, and I'm out here too. I'm gonna see you out here. You gonna move back home? You gotta move because you gonna fell out with me now. Right. Yeah, you're not gonna go run do the red label out here with King George out here. We don't know he's sneaky. I don't know what he might do. He might be shooting a video or something. So was, was me was me asking him out there at this point? Oh, what happened was with me and X when we was promoting uh, uh we went down south and we, I told you I uh seen Bob and me and Bob went outside and smoked the hell. And right. we were chopping it up trying to uh uh talk about the old times how we did back in the day. That's when uh, we heard about Mia X, this girl that can rap, right? Because she was looking for new talent from New Orleans. Right. So now, we do hook us up with Mia X. We meet Mia X downtown at the hotel we was at, the Clarion, right? Mm -hmm. She come down there, she flowing, right? So P said, would you mind moving to Cali? She said, yeah. So we got her on board, right? Now we meet KLC and his other boy, right? Mm -hmm. We already had Moby Dick because we ran into Moby Dick in Texas. At uh, his cousin Moby Dick, we ran into him at a club, and he saw us, and he said he was doing produ production. So we ran into KLC in New Orleans, and P said, know what, if I put y'all two together, can y'all make music? And KLC had another boy with him, so it's three of them, right? Right. And P said, I'm going to call this beef by the pound. Peace, family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on bout.online.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.